Last Thursday in Dublin, five people were injured in a knife attack, including three young children. The stabbing took place near an elementary school, where it appears the culprit was targeting children. Riots broke out. This event is just the latest in a long string of violence resulting from the radical globalist immigration scheme. The attacker was ordered to be deported back in 2003, but was given the political support to stay and appeal it, and was arrested earlier this year for possession of a knife and criminal damage, but did not receive a conviction due to a mental health report given to the court. If you've been paying attention, then you will recognize this as a common result of the United Nations Replacement Migration Plan. Children being attacked, women being raped, and perpetrators walking free is now a predictable outcome of forcing an established Christian culture to submit to a foreign, non-assimilating Islamic culture, many of whom are openly seeking to replace the local culture with their own by any means necessary. Radical Islam demands it. If this were a humanitarian effort, then refugees would be expected to assimilate as they have for millennia. The rule of law depends on it, but this is a globalist invasion, and whether they know it or not, the so-called migrants are being used as an invading force. And instead of being conquered with violence, the native people are being attacked with name-calling, stunned into silence with guilt by being called a racist. But people are starting to wake up to it. Three out of four Irish people understand that they are being guilted into giving away their country, and they oppose it. But the government doesn't care. They are now preparing to pass new hate speech laws that will criminalize possession of materials likely to incite violence or hatred. These laws will make it illegal to criticize immigration policy, which isn't going to slow down anytime soon. Can you guess what the most popular boy's name was in Galway in 2022? No idea. Was it Jack? Tommy? I'd say for us probably Connor. Let's say David. I think it was Sean. Was it? Uh, Jack. Kian. 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 Yeah. Peter. Who? No? Patrick. Richard. Richard. It was not Richard. Was it? Oh fuck! Didn't see that coming. It wasn't Richard. No. Would you like to know what it was? Yeah. According to the CSO in 2022, the most popular boy's name in Galway was Mohammed. Oh, yeah. I, I, I read that somewhere, yeah. Okay. What's the respect to that? Was okay. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck off. It wasn't Mohammed. In Galway. Mohammed. Greg Reese reporting.